South Korean AI chip startup Rebellions is targeting a $200 million funding round after raising money from tech giant Samsung. Arjun has the story. Arjun, tell us more. Yeah, just been on the phone this morning to uh, Rebellion's management. They're looking for a funding round in between 150 and $200 million. Samsung inked a deal last week for an undisclosed uh, sum at this point, and the company's still speaking to investors uh, in Korea and globally uh, to raise more money as part of this Series C. So, so far, they've raised up to 20, uh, sorry, $220 million, uh, to date since its inception in uh, 2020. Uh, some of their investors are pretty big. Uh, strategic investors. They've got the likes of SK Hynix, SK Telecom, and Korea Telecom out of uh, Korea, as well as uh, Saudi Arabia's Aramco, uh, as well as so some big names behind that. In terms of valuation, they were last valued at about a billion dollars. They haven't disclosed their exact valuation yet, given the funding round is still going on, but they expect that to be north of uh, the billion dollar valuation as well. And this is all coming ahead of an expected IPO. The company saying they are gearing up for an IPO in terms of timelines that is still uh, not yet concrete, uh, but they are uh, looking to do that once this round is closed. Now, just a bit about Rebellion. Super interesting company. They're looking at uh, designing chips, again, for the data center, specifically for inferencing workloads. And they merged with a company called Sapien last year, another Korean uh, AI chip startup. And the aim here, uh, they're trying to position themselves as South Korea's answer to NVIDIA uh, at this point, to go into the data center, take on NVIDIA and other startups. And then they're gearing up to launch their second generation chip, which they're calling Rebel. This is going to be sold as, as a sort of package of four chips together, which they're calling Rebel Quad, designed for the data center. Samsung is manufacturing these as well. Uh, on their four nanometer process. And again, a big win for Samsung if Rebellions is able to become a global company just off the back of that Tesla manufacturing deal as well. So a lot of interesting parts here to this story. So to that background, I mean, we keep talking about N NVIDIA and how dominant it has been, how Samsung has really struggled to get back into the ecosystem. Is this one of the solutions it has had by coming to a, a smaller company, uh, creating a new innovation in the space? Is that its answer to this? This to the is problem? partly, there's two, I think it's two prongs from Samsung. One, Samsung will handle the manufacturing of this. And this is quite key because if Rebellions manages to become quite a large company globally, Samsung will now have a big customer for its foundry business, its manufacturing business, which has trailed for so long, TSMC. The second part is here, Rebellions is buying Samsung's high bandwidth memory. Now, if you think about NVIDIA, it's only been buying SK Hynix's high bandwidth memory. Samsung's stock price suffered massively because it hasn't kept up with innovation in high bandwidth HBM memory specifically. And so this could be a way to prove out its technology both on the manufacturing front, but also for high bandwidth memory and have a customer here as the next generation of, of memory comes out for Samsung to have a customer and prove to NVIDIA almost that its memory is good enough for its products.